Hi, my name is Robert Turner. I'd like to share with you a freeware program that I've written called uh, A Ruler for Windows, which you're welcome to download, install, and use on as many uh, computers as you like. So basically, the program is a on-screen pixel ruler, which allows you to uh, measure the uh, uh, the uh, the size of objects on your screen. Uh, and so, for example, there we go. I can measure that thing there. Uh, by clicking on the tick lines. Now, um, there's a bunch of features associated with it. These are all explained in uh, in kind of on this help screen, and I'll just take you through the the, the basics of it. Uh, I'm going to try to keep this video short. Short. Uh, there's another video which I'll link to in the description below uh, that is much longer and goes in in more details. Uh, but uh, I'll show you the the highlights here. So first of all, uh, on either edge of the ruler, uh, the, uh, there are uh, control boxes and uh, you can click on those to make the, the uh, ruler do things. So for example, uh, uh, this guy here lets the, uh, um, the ruler uh, switch between vertical and horizontal. There's also uh, keyboard shortcuts uh, that you can use, in that case I use the slash, to, to kind of do the same thing. Uh, this option here uh, switches uh, the ticks from the top to the bottom and also uh, uh, changes the direction of the, the numbering on the uh, on the ruler face here as well. Um, this little box here is used to drag the ruler uh, left or right uh, to kind of resize it uh, and uh, you know of course that works uh, uh, here as well. Okay. Um, additionally, there's a little uh, box here where you can set the uh, ruler to the exact length. And um, you can uh, uh, also magnify it. So uh, earlier I, I uh, did a uh, measurement of that little uh, icon there. But this, by clicking this uh, uh, little plus sign, it brings up the window screen magnifier. So you can use that to uh, move the ruler around with the uh, Kind of greater precision, uh, and then uh, click on the on the guy here to get the uh, the more exact measurement. So uh, also I can uh, use the arrow keys to uh, move the arrow up and down. Uh, sorry, the ruler up and down, uh, left and right. And if I press the shift key, uh, I can uh, change that measuring line as well. Now that that works whether or not this uh, magnifier is on or off. So I'm just going to turn that off. Um, the next feature here is skin. So the uh, um, the skin of the ruler, this is my favorite, the wood grain ruler. Um, you can see that there's multiple skins and I'll show you uh, very quickly where you can uh, download and, uh, and or make your own skins if you like. Um, I guess the important thing here to note is some of these skins can be transparent, uh, which uh, could be helpful as well to you. So I'm just going to switch back to the... Uh, the wood grain ruler because that's my uh, favorite. Um, I've showed you how to measure on the by clicking on the uh, the measuring line. I can clear that by pressing uh, the uh, letter C. Uh, I can also press the letter M to draw a uh, a line at the midpoint, and the M again to get rid of it. T is for thirds, and uh, G is for the golden ratio line, if you know what that is. All right, there we go. Um, over here, we've seen the help and the, the resizing the uh, the ruler. Um, you can um, you can see here it's running in in the uh, in the taskbar. So I just uh, click that to minimize it, and it's still there. And I just double click that to open it up again. I can also with Windows pin that to the taskbar uh, and move it to wherever I want. And then when I exit the program, uh, I can do that by pressing the X here. Uh, it'll minimize it to the, uh, or sorry, it'll, it'll quit the program, but it'll still be there in the, in the taskbar, and I can uh, then launch it from there instead of uh, this icon. If you want to reboot that icon, you can do that as well. Uh, also, you can uh, launch as, uh, as many of these as you want, and they, they work independently. So, for example, uh, I, can, uh, I can have uh, two of these going on at one time, and... Uh, I can, uh, you know, measure measure items like that. 
or objects like that. So I'm gonna, uh, rather than press the X uh, here to uh, to uh, quit the program, I can also press the Escape key. All right. Uh, okay. Uh, if I go into the Help, I'll see a few more features. So you, you'll see that these little uh, uh, help balloons appear for uh, when you're using it. You can turn those off by um, just by uh, clicking on that or turn them back on. Uh, this feature here, auto expand controls, uh, when I move the uh, the mouse over the edges here, it'll uh, expand those controls, making them uh, maybe a little more easier to click on uh, for some. Uh, fencing the ruler guide, so uh, I'll just show you what that means. So on my, uh, my setup here, I have a primary screen, which is this one, and I have another screen off to the left, which uh, you can't see for... Uh, for uh, you know the purposes of this recording and um, but nothing above below or to the right so um, what I'm going to do is I'll just show you if I try to move the ruler uh, to the right here beyond uh, uh, kind of the, the end of my screen uh, it's it's locking it because it's fenced to uh, you know the physical size of my uh, my screen okay now because there's a, another window over here that again you can't see I can move it, drag it over there, and drag it back. Uh, but if I um, go here and turn off the, that fence feature, then I can uh, move this, you know, wherever I want, sort of thing. Uh, the other thing I can do is I can press the home key, and that'll kind of reset things and uh, and put them in the in the uh, top corner. So uh, that's the um, uh, the ruler, so the reading guide, uh, I can get to that by pressing uh, an S key here. And what that does is it gives me a, a kind of a bar, a vertical or horizontal, that I can use to, uh, if you can imagine, let me just see if I have to get some... Uh, um, there, here we go. That's the one I'm using there for this example. So here's some text uh, uh, of The Hobbit by J.R.R. Tolkien. And you can see I can use the reading guide there to uh, read through it. And uh, the uh, the skins, uh, you know, they work here as well too. So um, we can use a transparent skin uh, if that's, uh, you know, that's of help to some as well. So I'm just going to put it back to the, ruling, uh, the, the wood ruler. Uh, and of course I can uh, do that horizontally or vertically. Uh, if I press the page down key, I can make it uh, a little bit thicker uh, or the page up key to make it a little bit uh, thinner. And the other thing I can do is uh, in the help here in the settings, uh, you can change this bump and this is a number of pixels. So if I press the space bar here, it bumps the, uh, the reading guide down, uh, in this case, 18 pixels. So, but you could change that to be, you know, whatever you want it to be. Okay. Um, so, basically, uh, you know, that's the uh, that's the program. Um, what I'll do is I just show you one more thing, and that's around the skins. So, if I click on Edit Skins here, uh, what it'll do is it'll bring up this uh, kind of like control panel. And again, if you take a look at the uh, uh, the video uh, that I've linked to below, it'll describe in more detail how to uh, use this feature. But suffice to say, you can use it to uh, design your own skins, save them, share them with your friends, um, whatever. Uh, you can also click this More Free Skins, click that, it'll bring up the website. Mm -hmm. And then uh, with the uh, with the uh, the program running, uh, you can double click on one of these, download it, double click on the, the thing that gets downloaded, and it'll import that skin into the uh, to the ruler uh, without much fuss. So actually I can just show you that. I've already got this one in there. So let me just, uh, what I can do is uh, um, go in here, go into skins, uh, find, uh, uh, I don't know which one that, which one that is there. Um, Aqua, it's the first one. So uh, there's that skin there now. It's a transparent skin, uh, but I could remove it. So that uh, just takes it away and um, changes it to the next one in the list. So if I wanted to uh, download this, I just double click on it, uh, click say yes, click that, 
and there it's uh, it's loaded into the, the the program and it's it's brought up a second ruler as I showed you we could have multiple rulers on the screen so let me just close this one bring this one up um, and go into the uh, the settings again and edit screen edit skins I should say and there you can see the one that we deleted is it has been restored um, in any case um, that's the uh, that's the program uh, let me just uh, uh, also show you finally that uh, it's a uh, license I use a, a Creative Commons uh, license here uh, which basically amounts to you can uh, download and install it and run it on as many computers as you as you like. Uh, these donate buttons uh, aren't to do with me. These are to do with the Creative Commons uh, website and their licensing. Um, however, uh, there is uh, here a donate button if you want to donate to the program uh, as well. Uh, let me just show you here. It'll show up a little bit better if I uh, change this to... Uh, uh, a uh, say the wood green uh, s screen uh, there is a link here to uh, my website so if you click on that it'll bring up the uh, the website and you can check the version number on it and stuff like that anyways I really enjoyed writing this program and I hope it will be of uh, good use to you thank you for your time